Welcome to V Hackers team. In this tutorial, we are going to learn installing VMware Workstation 8 on Windows operating system. Before you start installing VMware Workstation on your operating system, I would like you to know answers of all the questions listed there. So let's get started with first one. What is VMware Workstation? VMware software is most reliable secure way to run multiple operating system at the same time. I can install Red Hat Linux inside Windows or another version of Windows OS inside Windows. Not only that, I can shift from one OS to another without restarting currently running OS. Now, how does VMware Workstation works? It maps the physical hardware resources to the virtual machine resources so that each virtual machine is equipped with its own CPU, memory disk and network interface card. Suppose you have 1 GB of RAM of your computer, then VMware will use 5 to MB of RAM and remaining will be used by your primary operating system. But don't worry, you can also assign different values of resources used by VMware. We will see how to do it in tutorial of using VMware in detail. If you are interested in knowing more about VMware, have some net surfing. Here is a link of frequently asked question by the official side of VMware. HTTP www vmware.com slash products slash workstation slash faqs dot html here you can get the all information about vmware workstation 8 like what's new in vmware workstation 8 who should buy the vmware workstation and how does vmware workstation works and many more you can also download the trial version of VMware Workstation from here. You can buy the new one and upgrade the installed one from here. You can also download the other softwares by VMware from here like VMware's vSphere, VMware vSphere, Hypervisor, VMware vCloud Director and many more. Just spend a little bit of time here reading this. We will now move to the next question. Why we want to use VMware? As I told you, we can run multiple operating system at the same time. So what's the use of running multiple operating system at the same time? We can use it for testing new operating system, application and patches in an isolated environment. Secondly, we can use it for debugging applications on multiple platforms with developer toolkit and blah blah blah. But we hacker use it for attack on other system, protect our system from attack to do experiment on operating system with various tools, scripts, viruses and at the same time we don't want to crash production machine cause some viruses can crash your system so it's always better to do such experiments on virtual machine and the storing of virtual machine is so easy. We will learn both creating viruses and using VMware in next some tutorials. What VMware was station it requires for installation 1.3 GHz of faster core speed. Now I'm pressing Windows key, then tap key once, twice to shift on desktop for checking core speed of my system. Now I right click on my computer, properties, here I go. The core speed of my system is 2.16 GHz and the RAM of my system is 2 GB. Now again shifting to the slide, the next requirement of VMware Workstation 8 installation is 1 GB of minimum RAM. You can install it on 512 megabytes of RAM but when you start running VMware on the system having 512 MB of RAM it really really was damn slow so I recommend you to have 1 GB of minimum RAM you must have 1.5 gigabytes of available disk space for installation VMware workstation it installed defaultly on C program files folder so you must have 1.5 gigabyte of available disk space for C drive. You can install VMware Workstation 8 on Windows Server 2003, Windows Server 2008, Windows XP, Windows Vista and Windows 7. Installation of VMware Workstation 8 on Windows operating system. This is Windows 7 operating system. First you must have setup of VMware. As you can see on my desktop I already have downloaded it but I am gonna do it again so you know how to do it. First open the browser. Here is Mozilla Firefox. Then go to the web address www.vmware.com I already loaded all tabs here so it will take less time to show you 
then go to the supports and download tab then from products and download to the VMware workstation after clicking it it will open the new tab that is VMware workstation net download here many things are given but the key thing we want is to VMware workstation net for windows now after clicking on download link it will redirect you to the VMware download tab it will ask you for register if you are the new user if already have user of VMware then you can login in from here after clicking on register it will redirect you to the next page here you can fill the all information and then click on the continue but I am the user of VMware so I will login in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm kidding this is not my password actually it is another one so here i go download vmware master and user license agreement then i click on yes yes i agree with this then here is download link for VMware workstation for Windows platform 32 bit and 64 bit with VMware tools. Now, after clicking on Windows 32 bit and 64 bit dot exe file, it will start downloading it. Now, I click on save file, it will start downloading, but I already have it on desktop, so I am cancelling it. I am going to the desktop again. simply double clicking the setup file it will start the setup windows 7 will ask for permissions then i click on next yes it will take little bit time for starting so next choose the typical one it will install the all default configuration of vmware workstation 8 suitable for windows then installation directory C program files VMware workstation then I click on next yes I am happy with that position check for products update on startup yes help to improve VMware workstation yes then it will add the icons on desktop and startup menu I will say yes next continue This will be installed in some time, so I am skipping. So it finishes the installation. It will ask you for license key. If you buy it, VMware will provide you license key. If you want to try it, then skip it and then finish. Here I finish with installation of VMware Workstation 8 on Windows operating system. In next some tutorial, we will see how to use VMware Workstation 8. The setup has finished and the shortcut is added to the desktop by simply double clicking it I will open the VMware workstation then clicking on license agreement you can read it yes I accept the terms and license agreement ok here is VMware workstation 8 in next some tutorial we will learn how to create a new virtual machine open virtual machine and all these tools